Today, I'm trying some new food. This new food that I'm gonna try is something that's been out forever. I've seen it in the stores, walked past it a million times. Never really thought twice about it, but today, since I've been accused of never trying anything new, I'm gonna try some new food today. Ha, huh. there it is. Breakfast skillet, sounds good. Chicken fried rice, lasagna and meat sauce. As y'all saw, I got breakfast. For breakfast, I got a breakfast skillet. For lunch, I got me some chicken fried rice. Now, if you're from the hood, you love the Chinaman. And when I go to the Chinaman, if I don't get beef fried rice, I get chicken fried rice. So I, I always do either beef or chicken fried rice for lunch. So for lunch, me trying something new, I'm be trying the uh, chicken fried rice. This is a uh, Mountain House Adventure Meals. For dinner, I got lasagna and meat sauce. Now, I love lasagna and meat sauce. That's one of my favorite Italian dishes between that and Parmesan chicken. I will go with the lasagna uh, and meat sauce if I don't get the problem. If y'all don't got the Parmesan chicken, then yeah, I like Parmesan chicken. Yeah, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm about to put on some uh, water, get it boiling so I can get this breakfast pack ready and try it out. All right, y'all, so my water is plenty hot, as y'all can see. And uh, I don't want to mess this up, so I got the measuring cups out. I'm going to actually measure it and make sure I get the exact amount of water that's on the pack in that bag so that I can't use the excuse and say, you know, it wasn't good because, you know, I did something wrong. I'm pretty sure if I'm in the woods, it's cold outside. I'm not gonna have a measuring spoon in camp. I'm not gonna uh, sit around if I'm starving after knocking down a 30 rack the night before and wait all this time. I'm gonna put some hot water in that thing, stir it up and go to town. But for this video, I'm doing it exactly how it says it on the pack. All right, yeah, here we go. Oh my God, y'all, that smells delicious. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never had these before. I've seen them all my life in the grocery stores and uh, Walmart and all the sporting goods stores, not grocery stores. But uh, this will be my first time actually trying one. So let me get me a big hunk on my spoon here. Let me get some of them sausages on here too. You know I like that. Ah, smells good. Here we go. I'm nervous. Mm. I gotta keep it 100. <laughs> this ain't bad. This is good. It needs a little seasoning. Hold on. We'll be right back. Salt and pepper. Woo. There we go. I ain't gonna lie, I was doing this, trying this for the video, but damn, for real? Okay, uh, I ain't mad. I ain't mad at all. And could be just because I'm fucking hungry. This is legit good. Like, I could eat this, like, I, I mean, I wouldn't trade it for like, you know, the Waffle House, but if I'm in the woods early morning before I run out, you know, go hunting or whatever, put a kettle of water on real quick, throw it in there, this is getting me through till lunchtime for sure. 
I don't remember how much it was, but this is not expensive. I think this was maybe eight bucks a pack or something like that. Something not expensive at all. I can see this is one cutting down on my cost of food when I go out in the woods. Cause I buy, right now I buy it like I'm going grocery shopping for home, eggs, bacon, sausage, everything, you know, and I ain't gonna trade that for this, but this can be a quick fix. If I'm going on like a, a day trip or something like that, and I ain't gonna be out there a long time or something like that. But this could, this could that's definitely substitute how much cargo I carry. It's crazy. Why ain't nobody told me about this? I'm gonna finish my breakfast. I will see y'all at lunchtime when I got another one of these to try. So, see you guys in a few hours. It is finally lunchtime. I'm back here in the kitchen. Uh, I just turned the water on, about to heat up some more water. And uh, this time for lunch, I am going to be having chicken fried rice. So if this is as good as the breakfast was, man, they knocking it out the park. Yeah, breakfast was good. I loved it. Uh, just need to add a little salt and pepper on it for me and I was good. Be with you as soon as the water done. All right, so the water's ready. About to get, get this popping for lunch. And I'm excited because breakfast was so good. I'm excited. I'm hoping this uh, chicken and rice is just as good. Okay, folks, so straighten this up a little bit. So, here we go. Uh, chicken and fried rice, or chicken fried rice, <laughs> chicken and fried rice. Now, let's see if it tastes good. Hmm, yeah, tastes good. I can tell it got those same eggs in it as uh, the breakfast did. It has big, huge chunks of chicken in it that are pretty good. One thing, just like the breakfast, I would say, just hit it with a little pepper and salt. Mix that up. Yeah, it's a little bland on the seasoning, just like the breakfast was, but it really don't taste bad even without the salt and pepper. If I had to rank this against the breakfast though, so far, the breakfast hands down. But this ain't bad either. Yeah, so far all day today, this is all I've been eating today. I had breakfast uh, was the breakfast skillet and now I'm having a chicken fried rice and I'm good so I feel like I could go on a camping trip and just take these and be good I'm not gonna do that but <laughs> I would be good I could if I wanted to I will see you guys at dinner time when we have lasagna with meat sauce coming up for dinner tonight and i gotta say after the breakfast and the lunch man i'm looking forward to this this gotta be great i love lasagna love meat sauce yeah i'm looking forward to that so see you guys at dinner time one more time i got the water going again uh this time i'm about to try my my lasagna and meat sauce. And man, I got high hopes for this one because I love like, love lasagna, like for real, for real. So hopefully, uh, whew, sun's bright. Hopefully uh, this lasagna will be just as good as the breakfast skillet and the chicken fried rice. So we'll see. All right, so moment of truth, y'all. Lasagna and meat sauce. It smells good, looks amazing. Let's see. This is dinner. After having breakfast, lunch, now how's dinner? I don't think they can do no wrong with me. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! Mmm. <laughs> 
Definitely let it cool down. Shit. <clears throat> that's hot, but that's good. That's real good. I don't even, I don't need no salt, no pepper with this. It's just, actually, if I had some Parmesan cheese, that's what would go good with this. It tastes just like regular, good old fashioned lasagna. I can't complain. By far, best meal of the day. I, I rank this first, the breakfast second, and then lunch third. And the only reason I put lunch third is because I don't, I'm not a big fan of peas and carrots, but it was good too. I don't even gotta be in the woods. I eat this here in the city just cause. If y'all don't get the picture, here it is. Bam, look, it's gone, it's empty, done. That's my review on this. Mm. I wish I had another one. But before I go, I do have dessert, an ice cream sandwich. Now, this has no directions on it. It says ready to eat, no drip, no mess. Now, with all the other meals, you have to add water. I kind of understand, you know, mixing it up, eating it up, and all that. An ice cream sandwich, though, it's never been in the freezer. I've never put it in the freezer. It wasn't in the freezer in the store. Let's see. Oh, it even comes like wrapped like a real ice cream sandwich. I like that. Nostalgia. It 100% looks like an ice cream sandwich. It kind of smells like an ice cream sandwich, but it kind of has a, I don't want to call it an artificial smell to it. It kind of has a, like a, it's like it smells like cardboard, but let's see. Mmm. It's crunchy. It's definitely crunchy, but, whoa. That's crazy. How in the, this tastes like a straight up ice cream sandwich. Nah, man. I don't believe it. Y'all lying to me, this tastes too real. This is witchcraft. I can't deny. That 100% tastes like an ice cream sandwich. My name's Terrell Jennings and I approve this message. That's it, folks. Uh, we can wrap it up. Uh, it's been a good day. Thanks for hanging out with me all day. <laughs> um, these uh, Mountain House uh, adventure meals, they're a win for me. I mean, I can't see me giving up the food we make at camp steaks and potatoes and all the great food we eat while we out in the woods. Dirt chili and back straps and all that. Um, you know, we, we, we go hard in the woods. We fry up fish. I mean, we've had some of the best crappie, but in a bind, these are definitely eat. So there it was, folks. I tried something new for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment down below if you've tried these before and tell me what your experience with them was. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. Uh, I love doing this for y'all. And until next time, peace.